Welcome to the Cheap Seats Network. This is the Cheap Seats Movie Trivia. And I surely hope all of you out there are ready to get scared. We've got our annual Halloween countdown match coming right at you. Stay tuned. Welcome back to the Cheap Seats Movie Trivia here on the Cheap Seats Network. If you can't really see my face, but I promise I am Chase Brown. And here on the desk with me today is none other than Abby Wellner. Abby Wellner is here today. She's she's dressed as a pumpkin. Uh, she looks fantastic. She's going to stand up a little bit to show us there. She looks great. Uh, it's, it's, a, it's a good look. We're happy to have you here. Abby's been on the network before. You've probably seen her on the, the Cheap Seats podcast. Abby, how are you doing? I'm great. Thank you for having me again, Chase. Thank you for being here. It's always great to have you on the channel. You do provide so much for us, and you are a great addition. So you and I are going to have a lot of fun today because we are hosting this match. This is the first ever countdown match Basically, what's going to happen is the competitors are going to have 20 minutes to answer these questions, and whoever has the most points at the end of it wins. Abby, are you excited for today's competition? I am so excited. I'm Glad excited too. I'm not participating because I know I would lose. <laughs> we don't have Abby participating this yet, but Abby, <laughs> I I'll have to ask you, and let me lift up my mask here. <laughs> I'll have to ask you, Abby, if you had to pick what movie or genre would you select to 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 do in the cheap seats movie trivia what would you be the most confident in i would be the best at a good rom-com themed trivia okay okay i like that i like that rom-com themed trivia we'll have to put it that one in the back pocket i think that's something we can surely do here but it is october it is the uh, spooky month i hope all you guys are out there being safe and, and having a good time eating candy doing whatever festivities you enjoy out there we're gonna do the festivities we enjoy right here we hope you come along with us we've got evan boffman versus rich williams today in competition i am excited for this one abby let's go yeah, these guys are some uh, heavy, heavy competitors. Evan has played in a couple matches himself. He hasn't won any singles matches, but he's played in the Ultimate Fan Tournament, and he won in the MCU. So we know when it comes to specialty stuff, Evan Boffman's got it in the bag. So let's not waste any more time. Let's go ahead and bring him into the show. Oh, he's got a pumpkin himself. He's got a pumpkin pillow. In fact, Evan Boffman... Welcome to the program. How you doing? Hey, man? hey, it's good to see you guys. It's Halloween now, Chase Brown. Abby, good to see you. Oh, I'm so, oh, Chase, I tell you every time I'm on the desk, I'm excited today, man. I am excited. Halloween is my favorite time of the year. I love me a good scary movie. You tell me a better thing than a cold October night with the wind howling and you throw on AMC and you got Fright Fest. What's on? Who cares? Watch that crap. Halloween time, baby. Let's go. Especially when you have your Halloween sweater on like that. Yes, yes. I've got <laughs> ghouls, bats, goblins, and uh, cauldrons, and pumpkins. Oh, it's goofy. It's it's awesome. It's all me. I'm so excited. Oh, Chase, thank you for having me. I love your costumes. Uh, Chase, classic ghost face. You know, we did the screen match. That was great. Pumpkin. I thought she was a carrot earlier, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> but she's a pumpkin. <laughs> she's a pumpkin. I'm just happy to be here. I, I'm gonna try to bring as much intensity as I can, but I'm just it's gonna be I'm excited. It's gonna be fun. I'll try to talk some trash, but I like Rich and it's a good thing. I'm in a good mood. So we'll see what I can bring. He's a bitch. That's what. Oh, wow. I mean, you, are, you are certainly cheery here today, and I know yes. this is your favorite season, and I'm really excited for you to get in here. Like I mentioned before, and like you mentioned, we have done these Ultimate Fan Tournament matches. We did the Scream franchise, which was between myself and Neil Roman. Make sure you go watch that match. Yes. It was a good one. A heck of a one. 
Spoiler, spoiler. I won. I won. <laughs> I and I broke some records too. Okay. Uh, but hey, Evan, <laughs> this is about you today, man. You've won the MCU match before. Yes. Horror thriller is also a big category for you. Halloween movies. Mm -hmm. uh, you are you you you're feeling charged up, man. I can already tell. Yeah, man. Uh, I I would say I'm confident in my ability, but at the same time, I know Rich probably knows his stuff too. So I'm just gonna go and give it my best shot. Like I, I'm a big big slasher movie guy so if we get questions in that area i think we're gonna knock it out of the park some other horror movies you know i'm not that into but at the same time i tried to do some research for today you know chase you know just as well as i do the preparation is the biggest part of this sure. hopefully i don't disappoint because i am talking a big game <laughs> so <laughs> it's gonna be embarrassing well let's hope he's not embarrassed abby do you have any questions before evan before we bring in rich let's do it She's ready to go. We're going to bring in now Rich Williams is joining the program. Oh, what an entrance. Entrance of the year, maybe. Rich Williams joins us. How are you doing, Rich? It's good to have you on the program today. I'm doing great. It's great to be back. Um, I echo Evan's sentiments. Uh, this is my favorite holiday. Uh, Halloween is the best. I love scary movies. I don't yes. think there's anything better than what he uh, introduced in terms of you know, being at home on a cold October night, uh, wind howling, wrapped up in a uh, cozy blanket. Right, Rich. Yeah, I'm ready to go. <laughs> He's not a bitch. Rich is a cool guy. <laughs> <laughs> you guys Thank you. are uh, two peas in a pod, one in the same. Rich, I'll say to you, you haven't played in an ultimate fan match, but you've played in three matches so far, two singles matches and a team's match. You've won two of the three, and you've already kind of, you know, you're newer to the game, but you've already kind of, you know, put your foot in the ground you you're you're coming in you're playing well you know how the game works and you're really taking a lot away from it i think at the end of the day too so uh you think you can come in here and and do the same thing you're doing in those other leagues with something a little more specific oh definitely and uh this is these are my favorite kinds of movies and um also i've seen evan play before in singles matches so i'm feeling <laughs> confident based on that alone listen listen i have to say right now the mcu match never went up I don't know why it's lost, it's it's lost, lost but I beat Michael Muha. I sure. beat who else did I beat Chase? James Gabriel. James, James. That's right. I wanted to, I wanted to say Gabe, but it was James Gabriel. I beat him too. Rich, I know my stuff when it comes to certain things. So hopefully, hopefully there are some softballs here. I hope you do. I hope. Uh... You know, I hope it's a challenge. I hope it's a good game. Okay, maybe well, maybe I he surely is. I hope he is. the same for these two guys, Abby. I know you're ready for this. I'm ready for this. Let's go ahead and do this thing. But, Abby, before we get into all of that, why don't you go ahead and read those rules for the game today? You got it. So we have 20 minutes on the clock. When the clock starts counting down, the first question will be asked. Each question is worth one point. However, at the two-minute mark, when there are two minutes left, any incorrect question will be the loss of a point. Competitors will have 15 seconds to write their answer. Answers must be said aloud when revealing the response. Each, competi each competitor receives a timeout in the first 15 minutes if you need a timeout. And each team can also ask three times during the match for a question to be repeated. Each competitor can challenge any ruling and reversals let you keep your challenge. Absolutely. Good reading, Abby. Were you were you one of those one of the one of those students that uh, had had a good time at the Scholastic Book Fair? You know it, Chase. You I know can tell it. that about you. I can tell that about you. It's good to have you here. It's good to have you reading with us. That's absolutely true, guys. All of those rules are in effect. Take those things into account. You're going to have 20 minutes to answer your questions. You're each going to have a 60-second timeout should you need it. Challenges are available just like regular repeats are available just like a regular match, okay? And it doesn't count until the last two minutes. I just want to reiterate, only the last two minutes if you miss a question should you lose a point now you can skip twice but you only have two skips allowed throughout that is it okay if that is all right with you guys i'm gonna go ahead and ask you rich are you ready for today's competition yeah i'm ready evan boffman are you ready for today's competition Boo! Oh, i'm ready <laughs> <sighs> hold on let me all right, all right, guys. Then let's is get this ready whole, for this. Is the whole competition going to be this scary? Or? <laughs> That's right. I, I hope. You I best certainly be hope scared. not. I don't know if our viewers are going to be able to stick around if it's this scary the whole time, but we'll we'll see what we can do. 
Let's get into this round, Halloween edition of the Cheap Seats Movie Trivia. Abby, you are going to be reading our odd questions. So whenever you're ready, go ahead and start and I will start the counter. All right, gentlemen, are you ready? Question number one, who directed 2017's Get Out? The timer has started. We'll see if these guys can do it and come in here. And Abby, have you seen the movie Get Out? I have. It's a good motion picture. It's a good motion picture. All right. In five, four, three, two, one. We're going to Rich. Jordan Peele. Yes, that is correct. Evan? I also said Jordan Peele. That is correct. One to one so far. One to one so far. We're tied up. Moving on to question number two. Question number two. Good pace, guys. <clears throat> Name the movie from the description. Two men are trapped by a sadistic serial killer in a filthy bathroom and must complete, complete his pervasive puzzle to live. All right, looks like the guys are done writing. I'm not going to waste their time. In five, four, three, two, one. Going to Evan. That would be uh, Saw. Saw is correct, Rich. Saw. Saw is correct. All right, two to two so far. All righty, question number three. Who plays Jack Torrance in 1980's The Shining? Is this a movie you've seen, Abby, The Shining? I actually have not seen this one. I I am a little bit afraid of super scary movies. I can't <laughs> lie. Halloween um, Town is more my speed. Halloween Town? Okay, maybe we'll get some Halloween Town questions. Who knows? In five, four... Three, two, one, going to Rich. Jack Nicholson. That is correct. Evan. Jack Nicholson. That is correct. Okay. Three, three. Uh, and Evan, if you could, just a little bit closer to the screen whenever you're revealing your answers. Got you, sir. All right, guys. Moving on to question number four. Annabelle and the Nun exist in the same franchise as this movie that kicked off the series. Now, I haven't seen these movies, but I've heard fantastic things about them. In five, four, three, two, one, going to Evan. That would be The Conjuring. The Conjuring is correct. The Conjuring, Conjuring. is correct. We're sitting at four to four, just a little uh, under 18 minutes to go left here, guys. We're still rocking and rolling. Question number five. What killer will you find in the Texas Chainsaw Massacre? Abby, have you ever been to Texas? No, I have not been to the rodeo state. I made that up. I don't know if they're the rodeo state. They call it, they, yeah, they're the Lone Star State, the rodeo state. They do some stuff there where the stars are bright and you're feeling right deep in the heart of Texas. <laughs> in five, four, three, two, one, we're going to Rich. Leatherface. Leatherface is correct. Evan. Leatherface. Leatherface is correct. Five to five, guys. Five to five. Good match so far. All right, guys. Question number six. Who plays Jennifer Check in Jennifer's Body? Check's a good last name. I feel like it's I feel like it's a good one. What assertive name. <laughs> the hard k at the end. <laughs> exactly. All my favorite last names have a k at the end. Uh, in five, four. Three, two, one, going to Evan. That would be Megan Fox. That would be Megan Fox, Rich. That would be Megan, Megan Fox. Fox. Six questions, six correct answers, 12 correct answers, I should say. Going pretty strong here at Abby. Question number seven. Adam Sandler voices Count Dracula in this 2012 movie. Is Dracula your favorite count? He's the only count, therefore my favorite count that I know of. Uh, count Chocula, the count from Sesame, Sesame Street. Street. Or eat some cereal, Abby. Okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're right, you're right. In five, four, three, two, one, going to Boff. That would be Hotel Transylvania. That would be Hotel Transylvania, Rich. I ran out of space at the end, but yeah, Hotel Transylvania. <laughs> Hotel Transylvania is correct. Okay, very good. Good, good series of movies. Never saw one of them. <laughs> Moving on to question number eight, guys. Which movie is the first to see Jason Voorhees as a killer? Have you ever killed anybody, Abby? 
Um, I can't say. I'm so okay. sorry. Good call. Good call. Good call. <laughs> <laughs> and five, four, three, two, one. Going to Evan. That would be Friday the 13th, part two. That is correct. Going to Rich. Yeah, I put part two and then F13 at the end for Friday the 13th. Very good. All right. Got it. Uh, eight to eight, guys. Eight to eight. Question nine. What is the subtitle of the third movie in the Halloween franchise? These guys are quick to the pen. It's really impressive to see them go. It's already eight to eight. They haven't missed yet. I wonder who's going to who's going to uh, hit the iron first. In five, four, three, two, one. Going to Rich. Season of the Witch. That's correct, Evan. I also had season of the witch. Good fight so far. Nine to nine. Nine to nine. All right, guys. Getting into your next question. This is question number 10. What color is Freddy Krueger's sweater? Now that's a piece of trivia I would know. Yeah, yeah. It's a good, it's a good, it's a good sweater. It's a good combination of colors. We'll see if these guys know what it is in five, four, three. Two, one, going to Boff. Uh, red and green, Chase and Abby. That is correct. Rich? Oh, I put green and red. <laughs> I, think we'll, I think we'll accept that. We'll be okay. We'll accept that. Uh, 10 to 10 so far. Whew. Question 11. Where does Hocus Pocus take place? We're looking for a town and a state. Please. Oh. A place I would like to travel someday. Yeah, maybe we'll get you there. Maybe we'll get you there in five, four, three, two, one. Let's see what Rich has to say. Salem, Massachusetts. Salem, Massachusetts is correct, Evan. I had Boston, Massachusetts. Boston, Massachusetts. We cannot accept. Yeah, yeah. Rich strikes first. The Thanks. score is 11 to 10. 11 to 10. All right. Our next question coming up here, guys. Question number 12. We've got 13 minutes exactly to go. 1982's The Thing takes place on which continent? Have you traveled outside of North America, Abby? Um, do Caribbean islands count? Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> Never been here. No. Five, four, three... Two, one, pens down. We're going to Evan first. Antarctica. Back on the board, Rich. Antarctica. All right, Rich is still perfect here. The score is 12 to 11. 12 what, to 11. One of my favorites. My favorite. Time. Yeah. Evan. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Lucky number question 13. Who directed Alien? Singular Alien, correct. Okay, very good. Lucky number 13. It's a good number. It's a good number. In five, four, three, two, one. Let's go to Rich. Sir Ridley Scott. That is correct for one more point, Evan. It would be Ridley Scott. That is correct for one more point. All right, gentlemen. Moving on to question 14. Who directed Aliens? Do you believe in Aliens, Chase? I do. I, I do. I, I do believe in aliens. When I was younger, I used to be uh, very scared of uh, any sort of extraterrestrials. In five, four, three, two, one. Let's go to Evan. Is it James Cameron? It is James Cameron. Yes, it is. James Cameron, correct. Rich stays perfect. The score is 14 to 13. This is a hell of a fight. Exactly what we thought we were going to see. Question 15. You'll find this professional wrestling star in John Carpenter's They Live. Abby, you're a big professional wrestling fan, as everybody oh, knows. Totally. <laughs> One of my biggest interests. <laughs> my task, you could even say. I, I, I certainly would. In five, four, three, two, one. Pens down, gentlemen, pens down. Let's go to uh, Rich. Rowdy Roddy Piper. That is correct. Even threw his nickname in there. Evan, what you got? I also had Rowdy Roddy Piper. Very good. Very good. 15, 14, guys. 15, check out, 14. Check out Nobody's Home. We did a review of Lay Live. 
It's true. Good plug, Evan. Good plug. I would give you an extra point for that, but that would be cheating. All right. <laughs> it, would, it would be. Question number 16, guys. Name the movie from the quote. A census taker once tried to test me. I ate his liver with some fava beans and a nice shanty. <laughs> even I just watched thing. this. Even, have, the, even have, in the thing. I have gross <laughs> lip sound in, in parentheses here. I had to read it. I'm sorry. In five, four, three, two, one. Let's go to Evan. Silence of the Lambs. Silence of the Lambs is correct. Which would you have? The Silence of the Lambs. Very good. All right. <laughs> 16 to 15. We got a little a little under 10 minutes left, guys. We're doing Oof. well here. Question 17. Who plays Beetlejuice in Beetlejuice? Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down, gentlemen. Let's go to Evan. Michael Keaton. Michael Keaton is correct, Rich. Pittsburgh uh, local Michael Keaton. Absolutely true. Pittsburgh local Michael Keaton. Shout out. Okay, guys, we're still getting it going here. Very close game. Very close game. Moving on to question number 18. Which real life couple star in A Quiet Place? This is a movie that I heard was a great experience in the theaters. I didn't get to see it that way. Are you missing the theaters, Chase? I do miss the theaters. I, I miss the theaters a lot. I, I saw Tenant in mm -hmm. theaters, and that didn't help. Um, but, you know, things happen. In five, four, three, two, one. Pens down. Let's go to Rich. Came out a little bad at the end. John Krasinski and Emily Blunt. We'll count it. Evan? Yeah, John Krasinski and Emily Blunt. Very good. We'll count it. All right, guys. Good stuff. Good stuff so far. Question 19. Name the movie from the quote. Come and play with us, Danny. Forever and ever and ever. That's a uh, very sick quote. Ooh, gives me chills just having you read that there. You did a good job. In five, four, three, two, one. Let's hit up Mr. Boffman. That would be uh, The Shining. That is correct, Rich. The Shining. That is correct. All right, guys. We've got a hell of a battle so far. 19 to 18 so far. 19 to 18. Getting on to question number 20. Bruce Willis and Samuel L. Jackson first appear alongside each other in this 2000 and Night Shyamalan movie. Very intense game so far. Only one point differential. I do believe they appeared together in a movie before this, but it's not a horror movie. Was so it, it doesn't an really Night Shyamalan count. movie? In five, no. four, three, two... One pens down. We're gonna go to Rich. Unbreakable or uh, Die Hard with a Vengeance, if <laughs> for the first on-screen appearance together. And Evan Boffman, would you have? I also put Unbreakable. All right, very good, guys. Very good. All right, moving on. Question twenty-one. Name the movie from the description. A young couple staying in an isolated vacation home are terrorized by three unknown assailants. Have you ever been attacked in your home? Um, no, big fear of mine though. So okay, I'm sorry, bring sorry, that up. sorry to car, just conjure that up for you. <laughs> in five, four, three, two, one. Let's go to Boff. That would be the strangers. That would be the strangers, Rich. Also the strangers. The strangers. Big battle here. Big battle here. Moving on to question number twenty-two. Who plays Laurie Strode in the Halloween franchise? This is a battle. This is a battle. Evan's only missed one question here. That's the only difference so far. So we'll see what goes on in five, four, three, two, one. Rich. Jamie Lee Curtis. Correct, Evan. The original screen queen, Jamie Lee Curtis. All right. Very good, guys. Very good, guys. Six minutes left in the game. Six minutes left in the game. Question 23. John Carpenter directed this 1978 horror movie. Would you ever direct? I don't know what goes into that. What's the difference between directing and producing? You can tell I'm not very, very movie knowledgeable. Lots a lot. Of, lots of things. <laughs> Directors are usually, you know, uh, in the shit. Producers are in the shit. I think they're <laughs> five, four, three, two, one. Uh, go into Rich. 
Halloween. That is correct. Evan. Of course. Halloween, baby. Okay, very good, guys. Your next question here. To question 24. Rob Zombie directed this 2007 horror movie. And five, four, three, two, one, pens down. Evan. Is it also Halloween? It is also Halloween. Yeah. Rich. <laughs> Halloween yeah. is correct. Okay. Uh, 24 to 23. Next question here. Question. Time out. Okay. Okay. Use my timeout. Uh, time out. Evan's calling a timeout. It's you've got sixty seconds for your timeout. The clock the will hate. not be stopping. The clock will not be stopping. Yeah. Very knowledgeable men we have this evening, Chase. Yeah. Absolutely. These guys have absolutely got it going on. I mean, they're they're killing it right now. Uh, it's I'm waiting, good to I'm waiting see for this. some hard questions. It's good. Oh. It's good to see this go. Rich apparently is waiting for harder questions. So we'll see if we can maybe get him some. We'll see. But the only movie Chase Brown has ever been afraid of that I've seen is The Strangers. Just so everyone knows that. That's that That's is, scary movie. That is that is true. That is absolutely terrifying uh, motion picture. Uh, yep. I think it took place in Pennsylvania Woods too, so that messed me up all sorts of all sorts of ways. Rich, good uh, going so far. Good luck. Yeah, you too. Play. Let's let's keep doing it. Freaking yeah, Boston, Massachusetts. What's wrong with left. me? Boston, Massachusetts. I don't know. It was pretty was easy. A, I, I I thought Salem, North Carolina, but I was like, no, it's in Massachusetts. So I guess it's Boston. But no, I'm dumb. You got that one wrong, eh? I did. You're, you're not so wicked smart. <laughs> all right, guys, time oh, in, yeah, time in. Cool. Abby, whenever you're ready. Question 25. David Gordon Green directed this 2018 horror movie. <laughs> and five, four, three, two, one. Let's go to Evan. Is that also Halloween? Yep. <laughs> Rich, would you have? Yep, Halloween. Halloween. All right. They got it. Nobody got <laughs> stuck there. 25 to 24 so far. Moving on to 26, guys. You guys got a little over three minutes left. R.L. Stein's classic novels come to life in this 2015 movie. Truly classic novels. Absolutely, 100%. Yeah, you're absolutely right about that. In five, four, three, two, one. Rich. Goosebumps. Evan. Goosebumps. <laughs> <laughs> All right, moving on to our next question. Question 27. Who directed 1960s Psycho? Goosebumps is what we all wanted at the Scholastic Fair. Am I right, Chase? 110% Abby. Five, I wanted scary stories to tell four, in the dark. Another good three, one. Two, one. Let's go to F. Alfred Hitchcock. Let's go to Rich. Yep. Alfred all right, Hitchcock. Guys. Very good so far. 26 to 27. Moving on to our next question. Name the description. Name the movie. I'm sorry. Question 28. Name the movie from the description. A single mother and her child fall into a deep well of paranoia Paranoia when an eerie children's book manifests in their home. I no, asked I that question. First time with you, Chase. That is true. I remember, I remember that experience. Good experience all around. And five, four... Three, two, one. Let's go to Rich. The Babadook. That's correct, Evan. The Babadook. All right, very good. Gentlemen, we are officially under the two-minute mark. Any question you answer incorrectly will be the loss of a point. Again, you have two skips. Minute and a half left, guys. Question 29. Stacy Spacek and Chloe Grace Moretz each star in different versions of this titular classic character in this movie. Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down. Rich. Carrie. Evan. They're going to laugh at you. <laughs> okay, and question number 30. How many movies are in the Scream franchise? Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down. Going to Rich. Four. Going to Evan. Four. All right, very good, gentlemen. Question 31. How many movies in the Nightmare on Elm Street franchise did Wes Craven direct? We may have stumped them, Chase. Maybe, we'll see. In five, four, three, two, one. Pens down, Evan. Six? 
That is incorrect, Rich. Two. That is correct. All right, guys. 20 seconds left. You will find this actress in 32. You will find this actress in Krampus, Hereditary, The Sixth Sense, and Fright Night. Skip. I'm sorry? Skip. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, we'll, I'll, add, I'll add 10 seconds to the board. Uh, your next question, who directed The Nightmare Before Christmas? Five, four, three, two, one. That'll be the last question, gentlemen. Rich, go ahead and reveal. Um, well, I had Tony Collette for the last one, and then Tim Burton for both the those, Nightmare on Both of those Street. things are absolutely correct. Evan Boffman, would you have? I had Tim Burton for the last question. That is also correct. But with that, Rich Williams wins the game by one point he sneaks one point under evan boffman for the final score of 30 to 31. a perfect score a perfect two score. points isn't it yeah i was gonna say chase it should be more than that because i lost a point when i got one incorrect that last little bit did you did you which which i'm sorry which the, one did you get in the, the name on Elm street. Elm street west craven directing you're absolutely you're absolutely right you're so you should have won right. by three technically i believe because he was up one i lose one and then he gains one so you're absolutely right so the final score here is 32 to 29. 29. Yep. 29 30, 32 to 29 is the final score what a battle we had here i think if it wasn't for uh, an early miss we would have surely seen this tie up at the end here but rich walks away with the victory seems like these guys really needed more than 20 minutes at the end of the day to answer some questions and, and, and fight a little bit longer so we'll have to take that into account we'll have to let them fight a little bit longer next time but guys that is the end of the match did fantastic here I, I can't really say anything bad about the performances evan you missed a couple of questions but other than that man you really came in here and you killed the thing you did pretty well how are you feeling after evan i am so so disappointed in myself chase and abby um i i was upset with the salem massachusetts miss on hocus pocus i love hocus pocus no for a bonus ever, point Evan, what's the uh, the sister's names? What's her last name? Uh, Crenshaw. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> Anyone? Is it no. the Sanderson sisters? It is Sanders. That's correct Sanderson. for one point. There you go. Thank you, Rich. I, See, I appreciate. One I, point. I'll give my one point. point Honestly, I'm not as I'll big. I'll give my point to Evan, and you still lose, unfortunately. <laughs> I'm uh, not as big of a hocus pocus fan as I I think I thought I was. But then that the West Craven question would have gotten me either way. I did not know that one i associate him so tightly with the nightmare franchise i he did I the first him. one and uh the new nightmare yeah i knew i knew he did obviously yeah west craven's new nightmare and then the first one i knew i did i thought he did everything but that's on me that's i did not prepare well enough i'm disappointed evan do you know the beauty in missing a few questions this time though is that there's room to improve next time Yes, yes, for sure. I, Abby, Next Halloween, great point. Be. <laughs> you know what? No, I, it's it's always Halloween time in my heart. If you if you know me, and I'm always spooky. I'm always feeling it. And um, just to leave you guys, really, I I got to go work in the lab. It's gonna be late at night. My eyes they beheld an eerie sight. This monster from its slab began to rise, and suddenly, to my surprise, Chase, what did he do? I don't want to say it. Rich, what did he do? He lost the match. Oh my God! Wow! He burned me. Okay. Yeah. He burned you. Guys. That's uh, it's the monster mash. He did the monster mash. So thank you, thank you, Evan. Uh, thank you for those those words. Rich, we'll move over to you. You won the match today. You didn't miss any questions. Uh, we're gonna have to either, you know, like I said earlier, give you more time or ask you some tougher stuff. You guys really came in here and killed it. Rich, you proved that this is absolutely your wheelhouse, your genre. You are the ultimate fan horror thriller winner. Should anybody choose to challenge you, that's up, that's up to you, man, if you'd like to come back in here and, and give them the luxury of going up against Rich Williams. What do you got to say for today? Uh, I just hope it's not Boatman, and uh, I'll take 
if anybody wants to challenge me, I'm always, I'm a, I, look, I, I love horror movies. I love scary movies. I've been watching them since I was little. <clears throat> I remember going to the video store at a, a ripe age of like 10, and I saw the cover for Sleepaway Camp 2. On the cover for Sleepaway Camp 2, she has the uh, Freddy Krueger glove, the Jason mask, and the backpack. Uh, I rented all three of them. Those are not movies for 10-year-olds. Um, <laughs> but that's just how deep in it I am. Just a, a little insight. Absolutely, man. And you know what? We can definitely extend that. We don't have to wait until the next Halloween. Rich, you can come in here and play your horror thriller match next month in November, in December, in January, in February, whenever you feel like it. The Ultimate Fan Tournament expands all year long. You can come in here, play at any time, throw down the gauntlet at any time. And if anybody comes in here and when you're not here, Rich, and they should say, you know what? I want a chance. I want to fight. I'll let you know about it, and you can decide if that's something you you want to take on or not. I'm open to any and all uh, challengers, okay? Yes, Evan. What Evan. you got, man? Uh, you want a rematch already, or are we trying no, to over? Listen, listen. You beat me, okay? I don't deserve a rematch yet, but Chase, I would like to officially throw down the gauntlet to anyone. Anyone out there on the cheap seats, take me on. Slasher, movie, trivia, anytime, anywhere. Winner faces rich for the title of horror movie fan tournament champion that's my challenge so you're calling in an audible evan you're going the slasher specific Mm -hmm. route you want to take all the slasher movies our our child's plays our our halloweens our our movies of that nature you're going to take those and you want to put it in one big game and you want to fight it out for a chance to maybe visit rich again huh yeah i think i think i performed well enough today to deserve to pick the stipulation for the number one contenders match against to see who goes up against Rich next. And um, I'd like to see someone try to take me down in that category. All right. He did good. He just didn't know like the one actual real famous uh, place that scary thing. Or, you know. I live in a fantasy world, Rich. You do, you have to understand this about me. It's true. Uh, I don't live in reality. The one place that witches are synonymous with. He did not know. I thought it was Salem. It's <laughs> my it was my Boston, family lives in Salem, North Carolina. I thought that's where that was. To be to be fair, there's a lot of uh, witches in uh, Ben Affleck directed movies as such as The Town. So, uh, Evan, you know what? We're gonna give you you're gonna give you a pass on on, on that one for now. Uh, but you know what, guys, you did well. I'm not even gonna drop you out just because you know I like having you here and like having you on screen. Thank you, Abby. What did you think of this match overall it was a great competition like i said very knowledgeable men much better than i could have ever done i think i knew the answer to one or two of those so mm-hmm. i applaud you both don't don't make the faces <laughs> I'm not, you need to watch more scary them, movies Abby. that's all I'm, you get I, them. I am i am a fearful girl um i get scared very easily i like the more tame scary movies so I'm not, this isn't my genre. I told Chase at the beginning, bring me in for some rom-coms and then we'll talk. Absolutely. And we're going to go ahead and do that too. We're going to make up a rom-com game for you, Abby. And we're going to, we're going to let you get in there and, and work your stuff. You can, you can wear the pumpkin costume again, if you'd like to, when you do that. Okay, that's your permanent, <laughs> just your permanent outfit here is a pumpkin costume. If you, if you should uh, so choose to, but Evan, uh, you know, you know, I'm, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling light. I'm feeling airy. I'll, yeah. I'll do it. I'll you wanna... challenge you for the slasher. Uh, Let's the go. Slasher yes. How about you and me, buddy? How about yes. you and Ooh, me stabby, stabby. go right up against each other? Chase Brown and Evan Boffman, the hosts of the Cheap Seats movie trivia, mm-hmm. going up against each other in slasher movie trivia for the chance to face Rich in a one-on-one horror thriller competition. I love that, Chase. I accept. I, I officially, you? officially accept. Yeah, I would love to do that. Um, obviously, we can't write the questions. We're going to so. have to find some writers. <laughs> yeah, we're going to have to find some writers. writers. If anyone out there is interested in writing us some questions, really trying to trip us up, I want to go deep, deep into that lore because I've seen all this crap. I see right. Jason Takes Manhattan. You know how bad that movie is? I do. I've watched it like 12 times. So yeah, you have. It's so bad. <laughs> it's so bad. They're, they're good. I love them to my core. I'm it's, excited. It's not as bad as you think it's worse than uh part five well a new beginning yeah that one's where it's not even where it's not even actually jason (laughs) yeah that that one's like the uh it still has like a more of a feel of that movie than manhattan does like the the makeup works so bad but i mean jason x that's a perfect bad movie right there that movie sucks i'm gonna go ahead amazing i'm gonna go ahead and stop you right there evan uh rich 
Evan, again, I want to thank you guys for competing today. We're going to have to schedule some more matches down the... Yes, absolutely. <laughs> Happy Halloween. Go vote. That is absolutely the truth. Uh, this this is airing before Halloween, obviously. So you guys go out there, do your, uh, your civil duty, go vote, go do something good. And happy Halloween. Go celebrate with people you love. Abby, do you have any messages for us before we get out of here? Any any wet words about Halloween or anything of that nature? You got anything? I think that, oh, what does Evan have? Happy Halloween with the Jack well, Lantern. I think well, that welcome. perfectly sums it up. Happy Halloween. Happy spooky season. Spooky season will live in our hearts all year long. And go vote. Yeah, absolutely, guys. Thank you for joining us on the Cheap Seats Movie Trivia. I always love coming in here, having a good time with our competitors and with our hosts. It was nice having Bella Spatafora on uh, when we did our screen match. It's great having Abby Wellner here for this match. We've seen them both on the, the Cheap Seats before, and hopefully we get to bring them back because Really love having him here. Abby, it was great, great hosting this match with you today. Evan Boffman, as always, man, you know, we're going to be back on the desk together soon. We may even be seeing each other on the opposite side of the battlefield. It's always good to have you here. Rich Williams, you awesome. are the horror thriller ultimate fan winner today. Uh, so I will I will officially give you the last word here. Um. Yeah, happy Halloween, and um, if there's ever a shot at the MCU belt, I'll take that too. Okay, very good. Matt. Evan, it's I'm like, coming for your whole life. I'm coming for it. Like, uh, you will never take my thing. Halloween spirit. <laughs> no, but I'm going to take that sweater after I beat you on the uh, MCU match. Oh, the sweater might the sweater even be on the $65. line, everybody. $65. <laughs> not, not for me. <laughs> the sweater might be on the line, everybody. Uh, we haven't seen the end of Williams versus Boffman, so make sure you guys are coming in here on the Cheap Seats Network, checking us out, hanging out with us, having a good time. We surely enjoy having you here. You can find us on the socials at Playing at Seats. Make sure you're watching our other shows. Nobody's home. Chase Shot first. A lot of good things coming out the world work. Make sure you're here to do it all with us. And as always, if you're looking for somewhere to go, join us in the Cheap Seats. There's plenty of room. Have a good night, everybody.